Hello, this is my allotment on the edge of the South Downs, just near Brighton. And I thought I'd bring you up here to have a look at some of the plants that I grow vertically, because that's a great way of saving space. Plants have lots of different methods of clinging onto their supports. So this is um, my mange too, and you can see they've got these tiny little tendrils which they use to cling on to the support. And um, this obelisk, I think I got out of a skip, and it's quite a good one because the mesh is small enough for the mange too to scramble its way up. Whereas this one is not quite so good because you can see it's got bigger gaps and so the plant has to stretch to find something to hold on to. And uh, I have to come along and put the branches on, even tie the branches onto the obelisk so that the plant knows what it's doing. But they're doing okay. I've got lots of little mange to fruit pods coming along and um, I sow them every two or three weeks. So first I'll sow three or four plants, then two weeks later, another three or four plants, and two weeks later, another three or four plants. And in that way, you space the fruiting and space your harvesting. So you can do that with things like radishes, pak choy, lettuce, beetroot, Cavellinero, um, black cabbage, generally things that are fairly fast growing, you just space the sowing and then you have them all summer long to enjoy. So here we have my French beans, which are great climbing plants. They'll really grow up anything. This is actually um, a frame that was left over from a show garden that I did a few years ago, but anything, string, wire, bamboo, they'll grow up. And as you can see, they just twine around quite happily um, and get on with things. So by the end of the summer, these beans will be right up the top there and the whole thing will be just festooned in lovely French beans. Cucumbers and courgettes are part of the same family and generally speaking they're big leafed spreading plants. They take up a lot of room, probably two or three meters if you let them. So what I try and do is think of some space saving ways to grow them. And this is my cucumber plant which I'm very pleased with. I'm growing it in a pot and I've got this uh, netting and metal mesh here that it can scramble up. And all I did was tie it on when it was just this size down here and it's done the rest. It's just scrambled all the way. It's got these fabulous twirly tendrils that are really clinging on tightly. So you can't grow every kind of cucumber in this climbing way. It's particular varieties. I was given this plant, so I don't actually know which type it is, but I do know there's one called La Diva, which is a really good climbing cucumber and actually has a smooth skin, whereas this one has a, a bit of a prickly skin. But um, look at the lovely flowers, really lovely bright yellow flowers. And there's loads and loads of flowers. So I'm going to get hundreds of, uh, of cucumbers, I think. They'll be fairly small, um, but uh, all the juicier for that. And then here, this is one of my courgette plants. And as I say, if it was on the ground, it would probably be really spreading out here. But I'm growing it in a pot, which does help to keep it away from the slugs. Um, and I've been able to give it a really nice compost. It just keeps it under control a little bit. And you can see there's lots of uh, lovely baby courgette fruits coming along. And this one here is just ready to harvest. I've noticed that I've actually got quite a lot of space in this pot because the cucumber is growing upwards. So I think I'm going to sow some seeds in this extra space that I've got. Rocket is a really easy seed to grow. In fact, if it likes your garden, it will self seed everywhere. And it's one of those seeds that you can plant every few weeks to extend its season. So I've got a packet here that I've already opened, but I've got a few seeds left and uh, you can sow right up until September. So I'm going to try sowing these rocket seeds in with the cucumber. Um, the first thing is because they are very, very fine seeds, which I'll show you in a minute, 
water the compost first because if you water afterwards you'll just wash your seeds away. So I've got a bit of water here. I'm just going to moisten the compost. Let that just soak in a little bit. And rocket seeds you sow quite shallowly, about half an inch. So you simply just create a little trench in the compost, get the seeds out. They, um, they keep them in these um, foil packets to keep them fresh, which is good. I've got a few. They are absolutely tiny, almost like dust really. And then between finger and thumb, you just scatter them along the trench, put soil over, give it a little pat, and that's it. They'll germinate in probably 7, 14 days and you'll see them. And because you've sown them in a row, you'll be able to tell the seeds from the weeds. So there's a few veggie growing tips and I'm sure no matter how small your space you'll be able to find something delicious to grow.